The Gerson Institute in San Diego has extensive files of case histories for anyone to see. About 12 months after uh, the diagnosis of prostate cancer, I was cancer free within 12 months. And uh, that was proven by the MRI and other uh, imaging tests that I had and which found amazingly that the cancer was completely gone from my sacrum, from my pelvis, from my liver, and uh, from the uh, prostate. About 32 months after diagnosis, I did yet another MRI, a second MRI, and that reconfirmed that the cancer was completely gone from my body in all areas of my body. And if anyone doubts this, uh, I have all the medical records to prove it. I, I brought all the medical records with me uh, from the doctor's reports to the scans to the imagings and uh, they prove it without, without, beyond a doubt. It's just an amazing thing. The pathology reports speak for themselves. Garrett found recovered patients everywhere with proof from their doctors. The Gerson therapy cured my fibromyalgia. But then I showed Garrett footage I had taken almost five years ago of a patient that was given a death sentence by conventional medicine. She had extra ovarian primary peritoneal carcinoma, stage four. No one had ever recovered from such a cancer using orthodox medicine. So here she was using the Gerson therapy in a last ditch effort. And now, Five years later, Garrett was looking at the results. Was he reading her obituary? This was her story. He leaves the room and goes, you know, down the hall for a minute, and he comes back in the door, and he crosses his hands across his chest. And just in astonishment, he looks at me and he says, you're the only patient we have seen that has survived this diagnosis. He said, this is unheard of. And um, so I told him that if he ever got sick, to give me a call. <laughs> and I would help him. <laughs> Garrett wanted to push this further. And so he asked this patient to go back to the Mayo Clinic to get a statement from her diagnostic doctor that the Gerson therapy cured her. The Mayo Clinic went into a panic mode because the doctor did want to appear on camera, but he was cut off. It became a waiting game. He would much appreciate it. He'd be making a big difference for the treatment of cancer and the environment. The answer came with the police, and they ushered her away, thinking she was a terrorist. As a result, the doctor is quitting the Mayo Clinic to work without such restrictive boundaries. But there are many others 